Okay, I've done this experiment many, many, many times. Right now I'm actually uh, going to uh, show you the growth of South Pole exposed seeds. Uh, they're alfalfa sprouts actually. I'm just starting them out. You actually soak them in water for a few hours and you drain it and then you soak them a little bit and immediately drain it and they actually germinate really quickly. They always turn out exactly the same way. There is radical, I don't mean some or a lot, I mean radical different output on South Pole exposed seeds versus North Pole. Radically different. By the way, I've had countless people since I made these videos starting out about two years ago. Oh, uh, you're full of crap. There's no way this works. I would have heard about this in school. And people perform the experiment and they report back to me, holy S-H-I-T. I am not sharding you. It always turns out exactly the same way. By the way, these are two books on the subject. While they actually uh, discovered it by accident, they actually uh, found out that... Uh, they uh, exposed a cup of worms in a styrofoam cup and dirt. They placed it against a magnet, which I have here, a two by two by one inch uh, N42 Gauss neodymium iron boron. They placed a cup of worms against the magnet and they came out the next day and the worms chewed their way through the styrofoam cup and they killed themselves, plopped out on the ground. And they said, well, there's something here. And they did it again and the exact same thing happened. And then they reversed the magnet to the North Pole and, uh, excuse me, to the South Pole. The worms actually killed themselves on the North Pole. They reversed it to the South Pole. And instead of the worms chewing their way out of the cup, they started grooving and dancing and eating, and they were all happy, happy, happy. They did this experiment to chickens. They did this experiment to uh, tomato seeds. It turns out the tomatoes will turn out radically more acidic or radically less acidic. They'll actually grow up plumper, better. Also, too, um, when the experiment is done, there'll be far, far, far fewer seeds on South Pole exposed than there will be on North Pole. These, and they smell, once they actually start to grow and it's time to eat them, stick them on your salad or whatever, these are unedible. I mean, I shart you not, they are unedible. They smell bad, they taste bad, they grow bad, they taste watery and crappy. These, if you were blind, you couldn't tell how well they looked. You are just completely blind. Like, wow, these smell so much better, they taste better, they're crunchy, they're awesome. There's a guy out in Colorado where it's legal to grow pot that is doing this now with a pot seed germination. And his plants are turning out radically better. Um, he thanked me perciferously vociferously, excuse me. Um, this was actually a banned book by the FDA. Very, very few copies got out. I scanned it in and basically gave it out to everybody. Now it's all over the web, thanks to me. It took me years to find a copy of this book. This is literally a suppressed book by the FB, uh, FDA. It was at the time, it was literally a suppressed book. That's why it took me forever to find a copy of this book. Um, these are the uh, magnets I recommend getting. Get them off from eBay. They're two by two by one inch neodymium iron boron block magnets. And uh, I made videos to show you actually how you check the polarity. You can actually stick the magnet on a plate with some oil smeared on it so there's low friction. Just sit there and shake the, the plate. And uh, depending on which side turns to which, as far as the North Pole or the South Pole, you could actually mark them. Um, so I'm surprised more people don't find this fascinating. I mean... It's extremely fascinating. Remember Jack and the Beanstalk when they actually had magic seeds? Remember Jack bought some magic seeds and, you know, they they were magic. This is like the closest thing to Jack and the Beanstalk. I actually thought about starting a business of selling magic seeds. But then I thought of all the Sioux crazy uh, lunatic morons out there like, oh, I got cancer and it's because of these uh, magnetically... Uh, altered a seed, it created a zombie seed, I'm going to sue them, that's why I got cancer. Total BS, but uh, I thought about doing that, but I've performed this experiment probably ooh, a little over 20 times with different seeds. I like doing alfalfa for the sake of video because they germinate so quick. I can't tell you, and I can because I've got the videos. I'm surprised more people don't find this insanely fascinating. It is. You never heard about this stuff in school, ever. You didn't hear about this stuff in college. The reason, too, by the way, is because of the water molecule. And the water molecule geometry, by the way, is this green triangle tattooed on the back of my hand. The reason why is two different things. The actual phase, uh, the phase disparity between North Pole and South Pole exists at a ratio of 1 to 5. 1 on the North Pole and 1.618 on the South Pole. That combined with uh, the dipolar nature of the water molecule and actually how it affects the water of uh, living organisms... Um, makes them grow. I mean, 
just think about it. You could take any sort of seed. It's like, you know, I don't really like uh, very acidic tomatoes. The only thing you have to do is expose the seeds to 30 minutes, just the dry seeds. You actually get more radical results if you like take uh, seeds and you germinate them over top of the magnetic polarity that you want. Way more radical. I only did seed, uh, seed exposure. I did about 40 minutes of seed exposure, these on the North Pole since they're marked red, and uh, the green on the South Pole that's marked green in the jar. Radically different results. These guys, they didn't understand magnetism, but they actually uh, talk about all, I mean, these are all, everything I've got highlighted here, different experiments. Uh, chickens, seeds, worms, on and on and on, everything. They even got a patent for a, I forget the name, the number of the patent, but they got a patent for a, um, a magnetic placement for, fee, for seed germination. I mean, just think about it. I mean, the normal reject ratio on seeds for death on alfalfa sprouts is about 15% if you do everything perfectly and you got perfect seeds. What if you could drop that down to 2%? So you need less seeds. Not only that, they grow healthier and faster. Oh yeah, the really important thing I forgot to tell you, about two days in, these look like they're just getting started and these are moving and grooving at mock speed. As far as seed growth goes, it is mock speed. Two days in, you know, okay, yeah, they're getting started. Over here, two days in, they're like, you look at them and it's like, what the F is going on? This is ridiculous. I will show you two days in and five days in. I'll show you the final product. I wish you could smell the final product. Smell them and taste them because it is so much more radically different. It's not hokum. It's not BS. These guys never understood what was going on. They just say, hey, we're getting results and they're reproducible. Um, a buddy of mine just sent me an email. His name is Homero. His uh, daughter did a science fair uh, with magnetic seed experiment. She won first ply first prize. I'll get it out there eventually. She won a first prize in uh, her science fair. I don't know exactly what the parameters she did, but she used magnetism for uh, seed exposure. I don't actually believe in experimenting on living creatures, but uh, these guys did on chicken embryos while they're still in the egg. And they found out that North Pole exposed chicken embryos. They came out puny and weak. And the South Pole uh, exposed uh, chicken embryos came out strong and healthy. And, uh, you know, they grew up faster. Think of how that would affect poultry. I mean, I don't believe in, uh, like I said, I'm not going to experiment on living creatures. I'm only experimenting on seeds here, okay? But this is not BS. This is not hokum. This is not like, hey, this is the first time this guy's ever done this. Let's, no, I've done this a lot of effing times. A lot of people out there. It's like, you know, maybe this guy's onto something. Let me try. Oh my God. Holy F. What the F in WTF, O-M-F-G, this works. It works 100%. Not like, oh, you know, maybe your results are skewed or maybe this. Uh, no, it works, period. No ifs, ands, or buts. Nail in the coffin, it works. But you never heard about this in school. You never heard about this in college. You don't hear about this anywhere. And when I say this was a suppressed book, I really mean that. This was their uh, other book, The Magnetic Blueprint of Life. This was suppressed by the FDA. The only reason is... And some copies got out there before it was suppressed. But uh, the only reason it's out there now, you know, that it's uh, available, and someone will probably put a link to it below, is because of me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, this is the one that's not very hard to find. I'm surprised this wasn't... Uh, uh, actually suppressed. But anyway, do this experiment yourself. Sirius is a heart attack. It's unbelievable how well this experiment works. Like I said, it exists due to the phase shift, which exists at a geometry that kind of looks like an egg. Like I said, I got the North Pole here marked in, in red. These are really powerful little neodymiums stuck to this metal refrigerator here. So anyway, imagine taking any seed, any seed from any damn plant. Are you listening? And doing just, just dry seeds in a packet, okay? You laying your magnet down, put the seeds, specifically you actually have to line them around the peripheral, the centrifugal, because you know each pole actually has two zones. So it actually has many zones, but this is the North Pole uh, centrifugal uh, zone right here around the periphery on uh, the North Pole. 
right here. And the same on the other side, the south pole. Just doing 30 uh, seconds of, uh, excuse me, not 30 seconds, 30 minutes of seed exposure. It should only takes 20 minutes. They actually performed these experiments and they found out they did like days of seed exposure, like, well, you know, and then they did hours. It's like, well, and then they found out that they got the same results if they only did 20 or 30 minutes of seed exposure. That's phenomenal. I found out the exact same thing. You've not heard about this anywhere. This is not like BS, like crap and nonsense. Like, yeah, this is totally, this is just way too radical. It can't exist because if it existed, I would have heard about it. Let me tell you what, Sirius is a heart attack. If I'm lying, I'm dying. This works 100%. And I will show you the results as I've done in the past over and over again. Peace out. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you like this video. If you do, you could uh, always make a donation. Click the link below. Anything's greatly appreciated. But don't take my word for it. Don't believe me? Guess what? Don't care. It works. Perform the experiment yourself. Go on eBay and buy a couple of these. You'll need two of them, of course. Not necessarily. You could expose, you know, the seeds one side and both the other seeds the other side. But why would you want to expose the seeds to the North Pole? You don't want to do that. Anyway, those are like uh, 40 bucks. A neodymium is controlled by China. And right now these are about uh, 35 to 40 bucks a piece, depending on, because neodymium goes up and down, kind of like gold and silver does, oddly enough. And uh, China controls like 99% of it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Click the link below. Let me have any questions. But this is a very important video. And I will show you the results. I will give you video updates of the results. They're always the same. Radically different output. Okay? Thank you.